Good morning everyone. So this morning I am sat watching The Real Housewives of Cheshire, which is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine and I am sat with oh, a really nice caramel coffee. Just wanting to focus on Esther. <laughs> so here we go. Really nice caramel coffee. I actually bought the syrup from, hmm, I think it was from TK Maxx and oh, it is so nice, it's so good. So I have it as like a little weekend treat. It's really sweet, so I only put a tiny little bit in, but it's so nice. So this morning, I'm actually going to film my unboxing of the Look Fantastic Beauty Box. I am here, by the way. I've just not got any makeup on at the moment and I'm about to get ready, so I'm not really filming myself at the moment. Not just yet. Anyway, this came in the beauty box this month and it's the Ren Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream and I'm just actually testing it out now before I put my makeup on and oh my god, it is so nice on my skin. It feels lovely. It feels really hydrating and really nourishing and you only need the tiniest little bit to make your face feel all brand new again. So anyway, here's the box and there's various bits and pieces of it strewn around the desk that I've been trying out. So I will come back to you in about 10 minutes and we will film the unboxing. So I will see you in a few. Hi everyone, I am back again. So now I've got a little bit of makeup on. I'm actually wearing something that came inside the beauty box as well, so I can share that with you in a little bit. So let's get into the box first of all and I will talk you through the products and tell you what my favourites are and then I will give you a little update at the end of the video. You can just see my hand crawling in here. Do you like my nails? I decided to go for a bluey colour. This is from Nails Inc. I'm not quite sure what the colour is. I will check and put it in the description bar below. Anyway, into the box. Here is the box from Look Fantastic this month. It's a beautiful sort of royal blue and maroony colour. It is really, really nice. It looks really classy and really stylish. It's great for this time of year. I don't know about you, but once it starts to get into the autumn, well, it is still autumn at the minute, but once it starts to get into the autumn months and it gets really wintry and cold, these kind of colours just absolutely work for me. I like them around the house and it's just so nice. I really like it. So once you open the box, I have actually taken everything out because I've been playing with it this morning, testing bits and pieces. But I just want to show you the tissue paper inside because it's just really nice. Look Fantastic Beauty Boxes are always beautifully packaged, no matter whether it's a special edition box or not, they always look gorgeous inside. And I actually give all of my old beauty boxes to my mum and she's got a pile of them in a room which is probably taller than me now. She's got so many of them and we just save them to put gifts in for other people or save them as storage boxes and yeah, they're just nice, they're just pretty, they are lovely to collect. So if you're a bit of a box harder like me, you'll enjoy them. So on the inside of the box, there's always like a little quote inside. And this time it says, Goya. The suspension of disbelief that occurs in good storytelling. A story that feels like reality. So that's an interesting concept for this month. So let me read you what the theme of the box is. For anybody who's new to these videos and hasn't had a Look Fantastic Beauty Box before, all of the beauty boxes come with an L magazine every month so you can sit and put your feet up and have a read with a cuppa, which I like to do. Um, and obviously L magazine is great for fashion, beauty news, and just, you know, general lifestyle. So that's a really nice addition to the box every month. And I don't, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't tend to buy magazines much anymore. I used to get them all the time when I was younger. I used to get Elle, I used to get Glamour, I used to get Vogue. I used to get so many different ones. And because I used to do fashion design as well, I used to get the kind of quirky ones like Dazed and Confused. And I just don't seem to do that anymore, which is quite sad. I feel like I don't have the time to sit and read properly. And when I do have the time, I fell to sleep. So I'm gonna try and read Elle this, this weekend. I'm having a really quiet weekend, which is nice. You might be able to hear it in my voice. I have got a dreaded chest infection. Once again, I'm literally the queen of chest infections, which is not a great title to have. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I've had so many bad chests over the last few months. And I'm hoping now, I'm taking a little bit of time out on the weekends, so I'm hoping to get a little bit more rest in, a little bit more rejuvenation, and hopefully I will start to feel a bit better soon. 
Anyway, back to the box. This is what comes inside all of the boxes as well. And this is a little information card. Um, well, it's a little magazine actually. And it tells you about the products that's inside the box, the theme for the box, and it also has little beauty features in it too, which are always really nice to read. I like reading these in the bath because it's a little short magazine. It doesn't take long and you get a quick update on things. So, November. This month we embrace the dark nights, the glitz of bonfire night, and the crisp colours of autumn with our dark wonder edition. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm struggling to talk, but I'm going to power through. Indulge in six magical makeup and skincare products from high-end brands that will leave you dazzling in the moonlight. In this magazine, we explore the best tips and tricks for the colder season, such as the best spicy fragrances, a tutorial to the best party look using products from this month's box, and much more. So get ready to party. The first thing in the box I am so excited about is this cute little, can it focus on that? It's this cute little baby version of Laura Geller's Illuminator in Gilded Honey. How stunning. I've had the bigger version of this and used it all up, so I know that I will definitely use this version up too. I'm, as much as it pains me to do this, I'm going to swatch it. <laughs> I just love the pattern on the front so much, it's beautiful. But if I give it a good swatch, you can see what it looks like. This is just the most beautiful highlighter. And can you see that beautiful gold shimmer? It's stunning. Oh, there you go. You can really see how the light catches it. Obviously, you probably wouldn't put it as thick as that on your cheekbones, but if you want it, you go for it. But yeah, it gives you that beautiful highlight. It's such a luxurious product. And the little swirl as well on the packaging is just so cute. I love it. The next product in the box is from Bubble Tea, and it's a bath bomb. So I have had a bubble tea bath bomb from Look Fantastic before and it was glorious, I loved it. So this is actually a special limited edition just for this box and it's called Dark Wonder and it's a sai berry and hibiscus tea. I am so excited to use this. If you're like me and you love like luxury bathing and like lush baths and things like that, you will love this. I'll read you what it says about it. I haven't actually smelt it yet because I didn't want to open it until this video. So, our limited edition bubble tea bath bomb is back. This luxury bath bomb is infused with acai berry and hibiscus, filling your bath with colour and a fragrance to stimulate the senses. Get ready to feel rejuvenated and refreshed with the added bonus of super soft hydrated skin. So, I'm going to open it now and take a look. smells so nice. The scent is quite soft and very berry-ish which is really really nice and there's like a little bit of sweetness in there as well. That smells beautiful. I will definitely enjoy that one probably tomorrow when I have my luxury Sunday bath. It's like a regular thing that I do every Sunday. I love it. Okay. Next thing in the box is something that I briefly talked about earlier when I did the quick snippet before I started the video and it's from Ren. This is the Ren Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream and this just feels amazing on the skin. Oh, let's focus. There we go. We're back. We're back. This is a really nice day cream. It says our skin is regularly exposed to environmental pollutants. Soothe and protect your skin with this gorgeous cream that trains your skin to be less sensitive whilst fighting against damage caused by free radicals and environmental aggressors. After cleansing, gently massage a small amount of day cream into your face and neck until absorbed. So I tried that on this morning and it made my skin feel amazing. My skin tends to feel a little bit more drier now, especially since taking Accutane. It's nothing unbearable at all, it just feels... A little dry maybe a little bit dehydrated actually i need to start drinking more water again um but yeah it made my skin feel great it didn't feel greasy but it felt really nourishing and really soothing as well which i really really like it didn't have that much of a smell to it um which makes me think it'd be great for sensitive skins usually the perfumes in skincare can be um quite irritating to sensitive skin so I think that would be a really good product for that. It sat really nice underneath my makeup, my foundation didn't ball up on the skin which can sometimes happen when your two products don't really mesh well together, you get those little tiny 
bowls of product as you buffing your makeup in um, that didn't happen which is great so I'm looking forward to trying this out some more and I will probably do um, a blog post on this at some point next in the box is a precision pen liner from um, Mellow if you haven't used Mellow cosmetics before I'm sure they've been in a look fantastic beauty box before where we got lipsticks I don't know if I'm confusing look fantastic with glossy box but I have definitely tried two lipsticks from the brand no one lipstick from the brand and really really enjoyed it and um, so I've got high hopes for this so this is a long lasting super black formula that creates the thinnest or thickest winged liner in one sweep and gives eyes a bolder look without having to try too hard so this is what it looks like it's a little pen and it's got the really really fine nib and it just draws beautiful lines it's a really deep dark black it's beautiful so I think this will be a really nice addition to my makeup kit. I'm looking forward to using this. I have started to really fall in love with pen eyeliners over gel eyeliners. For me personally, in my kit, I still use gels because it's more hygienic to be able to decant them out. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying pen eyeliners lately, so I'm really glad to get another one actually. They always come in handy. The only trouble I find is they tend to run out a little bit quicker than your gel pots, but for the really nice precise effect that you can get, they are totally worth it. Next is a product from Elemis, and this is the Papaya Enzyme Peel. I haven't actually had a chance to try this out yet, but I will do soon and I will give you an update on it. So this says, this gentle exfoliator will make your complexion appear smoother and brighter by dissolving dead skin cells without rubbing, making it perfect for delicate skin. It also gives antioxidant and free radical protection. Your skin will be treated with seaweed actives and vitamin E, leaving you with a smooth, moisturised and remineralised skin. Apply to your cleansed skin, avoiding the delicate eye area and leave for 15 to 20 minutes and rinse with lukewarm water to reveal a brighter complexion. Really looking forward to trying that. Elemis products are great. I haven't come across an Elemis product yet that I haven't loved, so I'm really looking forward to trying that. And last in the box is this lipstick here, which is from Contour Cosmetics. I think that's just about focusing, is it? <laughs> I hope so. Um, so yes, this is a matte liquid lipstick. It says, this matte kiss-proof liquid lipstick is designed to last all day long. The pretty nude pink shade is perfect for an everyday look with a soft finish that doesn't dry out the lips. Encased in luxurious rose gold packaging, this highly pigmented liquid lipstick is a must-have in your makeup bag. I really like the formula of this. I have actually worn it for a full day before trying it out again for this video. And I'm just looking at the colour of it in my mirror. I've got a big mirror here. Um, I really like the colour. It looks great whether you've got a heavy eye or a more natural eye. I found that after I'd worn this for probably about four hours that I did to feel a, I felt a little bit dry on my lips and I ended up taking it off but that is not the fault of this product that's because my lips are a little dry at the moment due to the weather being colder and due to not keeping up with my lip balm as I usually do but yes the formula is really nice in this um the color is a juju which I really like or juju it's really nice love the packaging love the rose gold that's going to look great in my lipstick holder um so yeah I can't wait to keep using this as well I'm excited to try it with some really dark eye makeup looks and see what it looks like so that brings me to the end of the beauty box unboxing for this month i hope that you enjoyed it as always i will put the links to everything in the description box below so that you can buy it if you would like look fantastic usually have some amazing offers on which you can take advantage of um which i will also post in the description box below if there are any running at the moment so Here's a quick update for you. My blog hasn't been updated as much as I would have liked it to have been over the last few weeks because I've just been feeling unwell and I've been working a lot. Um, this is something that I'm hoping to get back off the ground again because I love writing and I love filming these videos too. Um, you may have noticed that there was lack of a glossy box video last month. If you don't know, I am an affiliate of Glossybox, which means that they do send me complimentary boxes um, over the months. Last month, they didn't actually send me a box and I wasn't aware that they wouldn't be sending a box. 
So by the time I got told that I wouldn't be receiving the box that month, they had already sold out, which I was extremely disappointed about because I would have bought one to be able to cover it. I like doing the unboxings every month. I genuinely love the box and it was the Halloween edition. I'm actually a makeup artist and one of the things that I am most well known for is my Halloween and special effects makeup. So that box would have been just perfect. I was really looking forward to it. So yes, I was extremely disappointed and I'm so sorry that there wasn't an upload because I know quite a few people look forward to them um, and I do too. So I'm sorry about that. Um, that was unfortunately out of my control for that month. Um, but I'm going to try and get back on track with that very soon. So thank you so much for joining me for another new video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will hope to see you all soon on another video and possibly some vlogs very soon in December. I'm not vlogmas, <laughs> I can't commit to that this year, but definitely some more regular content. So I will see you then. Bye!